Compare the first election won by Obama, in which social media devotees reproduced the iconic but official blue and red stylized stencil portrait of the new president with hope printed across the bottom, a portrait created by artist Shepard Ferry and approved by the official Obama campaign, to the bursting forth of a reverent mainstream baffling meme culture during the last race, in which the Bernie Sanders dank meme stash Facebook page and the Donald subreddit define the tone of the race for a young and newly politicized generation, with the mainstream media desperately trying to catch up with a subculture in joke style to suit two emergent anti-establishment waves of the right and left. Writers like Manuel Castells and numerous commenters in the Wired magazine Milieu told us of the coming of a networked society, in which old hierarchical models of business and culture would be replaced by the wisdom of crowds, the swarm, the hive mind, citizen journalism, and user-generated content. They got their wish, but it's not quite the utopian vision they were hoping for. As old media dies, gatekeepers of cultural sensibilities and etiquette have been overthrown. Notions of popular taste maintained by a small creative class are now perpetually outpaced by viral online content from obscure sources, and culture industry consumers have been replaced by constantly online, instant content producers. The year 2016 may be remembered as the year the media mainstream's hold over formal politics died. A thousand Trump Pepe memes bloomed, and a strongman larger than life Twitter troll who showed open hostility to the mainstream media and to both party establishments took the White House without them. One of the early significant moments of rupture in mainstream internet culture sensibilities was the viral Coney 2012 video. You can map a trajectory through the dominant styles, from virtue to cynical, inscrutable irony, roughly from Coney 2012 to the Harambe meme explosion in 2016. The Coney 2012 film's purpose was to promote the charity campaign Stop Coney, which itself aimed to have the Ugandan militia leader Joseph Coney arrested by the end of 2012. The film received over 100 million views and went so viral that one poll suggested half of young adult Americans heard about it in the days following the video's release, causing its website to crash. Time magazine called it the most viral video ever made. 